Today we open third party blisters and purchase a collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we have a dual video today where I did buy a collection of some pretty nice ultimate rares. So we're gonna check that out first. Then we're gonna finish it by opening this third party blister for myself. We also have some other packs from Ruxin34.com that were purchased such as this first edition Magic Ruler blister purchased by EX Gamer. We're gonna open up that for him. And then five Legacy of Darkness packs by Puffins of Doom, an ultimate member of the channel will also be opened in today's video. And speaking of Ruxin34.com, I have two of these Metal Raiders blisters I'll be listing up there as well. We have a ton of old school tins listed and some old school packs that you guys can check out if you're interested in stuff like that. But before we get into all this, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All of these were pulled out of my Light of Destruction first edition booster box. They're supers and ultras. All you have to do is like this video. You subscribe, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite part of the video. Is it the collection? Is it the opening? Is it pulls? What is it? All right, let's start off by checking out the collection. So ultimate rare cards. Let's start off here with the Behemoth King of All Animals. This is a card from Flaming Eternity. Ultimate rare. I don't remember what he said the condition was i think it was like between like light play mod play there's a little bit of a corner wear there a little bit of an indent on that part but the surface looks pretty good overall back looks pretty decent overall on this card i mean definitely a solid condition card like there's some of that waviness, but that happens with ultimate rares every once in a while, but definitely pretty solid. I would say that very nice card. First edition ultimate rare. Good start. And there's some super heat in this. So uh, keep your eyes open. We have a Phoenix wing wind blast. There we go. We're already hitting one Phoenix wing wind blast. This is an incredible card for old school like goat and Edison and stuff like that. This one is definitely not in great shape. Check that out. I mean, that bend right there. I'd have it at like heavy play just for that. There's a little bit of a dot there. Still pretty clean on the surface. Otherwise back scuffing. Definitely. It's definitely been seen some play a little bit of a dot going through there yeah i would have this at like a a nice heavy play if you guys know what i mean but still very nice card right there the next card we have is a gatling dragon by the way let me know if you guys like looking at old school like cards like this like checking out condition and everything like that because a little bit more like what we used to do we haven't done it much recently though gatling dragon this is really nice i figured you guys would want to see these though because these are super nice cards this is unlimited i think were the other two first edition yeah the other two were first edition whoa the surface is great on this card this card's actually in really good shape i think there was something at the top maybe yeah like the top has a little bit going on that's about it though this card's like almost near mint maybe even near mint and yet another flaming eternity card king dragoon very nice we got a dragoon very cool let's see what it looks like this is unlimited as well we actually pulled a first edition out of our box i believe i think it was our box or maybe it was a random pack i can't remember but an ultimate rare first edition a little bit of a nick up oh yeah a little bit of whitening going on there you can see it a little bit but not bad although the rest of the card's great though i mean it has that whitening up top but the rest of the card's really nice so it's only that one spot it looks like somebody maybe got their fingernail on it at some point unfortunately but overall pretty solid condition on the card like lightly played if like you're scared of someone getting mad at you i mean they would you would want to show pictures for this one because it's like mint besides that all right ultimate insect level seven okay this is the one you never want to pull out of a hobby box out of the lost millennium but if you get it as a single it's not too bad because it's pretty cool and the price is not that bad it's not crazy this card looks minty on the front little white dot there I and mean, it's not too bad though yeah like probably near mint on this even with that dot pretty good i mean that's a pretty good condition card looking good so far in this collection more heat incoming flaming eternity first edition gear freed the sword master surface on this guy looks incredible a little bit of a foil shift that i have been asked recently yeah foil shifting on ultimate rares is actually pretty common i don't know why i guess they're just hard to stamp exactly right but yeah they, it shifts down pretty often but this front looks incredible that card looks really good back it definitely has okay the indent you can see all the way through has some flaming eternity scuffing but that's natural i mean it happens a lot for that look at this though like look at this artwork i mean just look how it shines that looks really good that's a nice card those are some of the hardest cards to like condition by like saying not near mint light play stuff like that because like it comes out of the pack a lot like that sometimes so it's hard to call it a light play but it really kind of is mystic swords in level six this is rise of destiny this is an ultra ulti back yeah you can see all the way through it that's pretty normal for a lot of these ultis because it's just you know it's just hard to find these so definitely would not grade that great with that but very nice card i mean a little bit of corner issues maybe but overall pretty solid very nice. Then we have a Grand Mark. So another Flaming Eternity card. No, maybe we got this one out of our box. So we pulled King Dragoon later out of a random pack. I think that's what happened. Grand Mark. This is one that was never really appreciated. Just kind of the worst one. It hits a set card or a face down card, I guess, technically is the, the words on the card. The words. The back has the scuffing as well. But overall, this card's in pretty good condition. A little bit of whitening up there all, all the way across, but not too bad. Solid condition on that card. Now we have something pretty big. But wait. 
50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. A power bond ultimate rare. This is pretty cool. This is from Cybernetic Revolution Ultra Rare. So if you don't get the Cyber End Dragon, you might get this card. So a little disappointing if you end up with this, but still pretty good. Top has some whitening there. Not too bad. Back looks super nice. I mean, there's not a lot of stamping on this one. A little bit of scratching, but not too bad. Power bond looks absolutely amazing. Wow. First edition ultimate rare. This card's really expensive. So that's actually pretty insane. Okay. Four more cards. These are all bangers. Cyber Twin Dragon. I just bought one of these. So we have another one here. Actually, one of you guys gave me a Cyber Twin too. It was in like heavy play, but it was super awesome. So I really appreciate that. I now have a play set of these, which is pretty sick. First edition Cyber Twin. A little bit of whitening as well up there. That happens a lot with these Cyber Twins when they come out of the pack. Back looks beautiful on this card. Wow. This looks really good. A little bit of a couple of dots. This seems to be common with CRV. A lot of the Cyber Dragons I've seen, just regular Cyber Dragons, have that as well. But this is very good condition. So Cyber Twin Dragon. Beautiful to see that as well. And before we move on, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel. We're almost at 5,000 followers on there. I've been streaming five days a week. It's been a lot of fun. So go check it out if you guys want to. Link in the description. All right. Next one's pretty big. The Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. This is not an Ultra. This is an Ulti. An Ulti Thunder Giant from the Lost Millennium. This is such a cool card. I used to have a PSA 10 of this. Unfortunately, I sold it. So I would love to get another one one day. But this has a little bit of a slight surface issue right there. Surface looks pretty amazing on this card centering is pretty good. I mean, overall, this card's just in great shape. The back's pretty clean. Maybe a little bit right there in the middle, but overall, if it, wait, maybe one right there. Yeah, something right there, but not too bad. Very solid ultimate rare Thunder Giant. I mean, this card looks absolutely awesome. Excited to pick that up because I, I don't own one anymore. So pretty cool. All right. Now we have a first edition Mirror Force. I do have two PSA 10s of this now <laughs> because of that recent uh, PSA sub, which is pretty cool. But you can never have enough Mirror Forces. There is a big old ding right there at the top, which I had seen before I bought it. But that's about it. This honestly is better condition than the one I have right now in my goat deck. So maybe I'll put this one in there. The one I had is like damaged or something. I don't remember why. I never upgraded it. So this one actually looks pretty decent other than that top part. So pretty solid first edition MRD Mirror Force. You'd love to see that. Very, very cool. And the final card before we get to the opening is a first edition ultimate rare winged Karibo. This is pretty sick. Wow, that looks good. And check out that foil pattern. I mean, that looks pretty nice. It's like all those little shapes on there. Centering is pretty good on this card. A little bit of whitening right there back is very clean okay this card is super super nice honestly maybe we'll send this in i mean i probably will not get the 10 but i mean even a nine i'm with the bulk back out now if you guys saw my rux and live video go check it out if you didn't about psa bringing back bulk services at 30 bucks a card which is kind of a lot but for a wing karibo like this maybe worth it we'll see all right so that was super sick i'm really happy with that collection purchase from a guy who hit me up on instagram he's like hey i just want you to buy these i'm trying to sell them for i think he, he needed the money for something so i was like heck yeah i'll buy those they look great let's go into the five packs for puffins of doom these are all legacy of darkness packs unlimited so let's see what we can pull he got these off ruxin 34.com as well so if you guys want to pick something up from there go check it out sometimes the prices like change on that kind of stuff sometimes they're higher than maybe you think they should be it's okay like you don't have to buy the stuff that you think is too high you just leave it on there and eventually maybe we'll change the price but if you, there's something you think is worth it then go ahead and buy it compulsive of nature we got the woodland sprite a dragon's gunfire very nice frontier wise man possessed dark soul Super Rejuvenation, very cool. Fushinotori. And a Sousa Soldier. Starting off with a Sousa Soldier. Literally every LOD, uh, LOD opening has one of those. I was about to say LOD Darkness. <laughs> Four packs to go for Puffins of Doom. Let's see if he can get something amazing. Let's see if we can get... What would be in here? I think it's Lily. Actually, I don't know. We've never pulled a secret rare from these packs, so I don't know if it'll be Lily or not. Dragon Manipulator, Life Absorbing Machine, Gradius' Option, The Illusory Gentleman, Frontier Wise Man, The Super Rejuvenation, Bad reaction to Smoji, a Robo Lady, and Fusion Sword Mirasama. Fusion, fusion, not fusion. I don't know. Fusion, bougion, different, different thing. All right, pack number Trace. Uno dos Trace. Now is where we get the luck. Let's see if we can get something good for Puffins of Doom. Bubble Crash. All right, there's the Yu-Gi-Oh people, the Robotic Knight. Why is it LOD? Some cards feel really thin. Double Snare, the Devil Snare. Soul Demolition. We got the Bark of Dark Ruler. Well, look, this is dinged in the pack. That's a bummer. At least it's only a common. All right. The winged minion. Hopefully it's not the rest of the cards. They all are dinged. Oh no. Burst breath. Frontier Wiseman. Hopefully not the foil. Oh, and it is a drop off. Let's check out that corner. It didn't get hit. Okay, good. Drop off super rare. Actually not that bad of a card when you're actually dueling. Pretty solid overall because like they draw their card and you activate drop off. They don't get to keep it. It's the worst when they like drop off like a pot of greed. That's happened to me before. It's very painful. All right. So Puffin's got a super rare. Let's see if we can get him an ultra or a secret now in the last two packs. 
We also have that first edition magic ruler blister coming up. That's gonna be pretty insane. Let's go. Ready for intercepting. Nutrient Z. The warrior die greffer. Dragon dwelling in a cave. Very cool. And throw stone unit. He's dwelling. We got the bark of dark ruler. The winged mignon. Burst breath. And... Ooh, a Dark Balter, the terrible, super rare. That's another super. He's now two for four. That is actually not bad at all. Very solid super here. Dark Balter, the terrible, looks to be in pretty minty condition. All right, that's a great start. Okay, next pack, Legacy of Darkness, the darkness. Pull something, go three for five. That'd be insane. Hunter with seven weapons, the Lizard Soldier. Gradius' option, Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Ominous Fortune Telling, Mysterious Guard. Same instruction. Spring of Rebirth. Is it the next one? Ooh, a Fatal Abacus. All right, nothing in the final pack, but two for five is actually pretty solid. Now we move on to EX Gamers Magic Ruler First Edition Blister. Can he get a Serpent and a Dragon out of one pack? Can you imagine? Let's do this. Turn away, sealed collectors. Don't watch this. It's going to be painful. All right. We got it out. All right, you can look back now. All right, thanks a lot, EX Gamer, for purchasing this and having it open. Good for the awesome content. Let's see if we can provide you with an amazing pull. I'm hoping that we can. Two out of five for Legacy of Darkness is pretty good. Can we go one for one on Magic Ruler? Oh, that ripped really weird. Okay, let's continue. All right, oh, is that a ding on the back card? Oh my gosh, look at that. That's really weird. It like shines weird. Uh, what is that? I don't know. That's very strange. Let's see if we can pull something amazing. We got the Reliable Guardian, the Spear Cretan. Weather report. He's going to let us know the weather. We got the upstart goblin. Cool. Very, very cool. Oh, Rux is special. Pass the boar soldier. Hamburglar recipe. We got the psychic kappa. Fairy's hand mirror. This is first edition. Can we pull something amazing? Oh, and an ultra rare spellbinding circle. I pulled two of these now. EX Gamer. Nice, dude. This is a huge pull. It looks centered, too. If this grades a 10, you're... Yeah, oh. This is a very valuable card. Okay, that's a great pull. You're going to definitely do pretty well on this. Wow, nice pull. One pack magic, dude. Spellbinding circle. I just pulled one of these the other day for myself. Now EX Gamer has one. He's going to be hyped about that, I think. All right, everyone's had pretty good luck. Now it's my turn. I just have this one third party blister of Yu-Gi-Oh cards by XL Marketing. We've opened a few of these before for like uh, magic, not magic ruler, magician's force and stuff like that. So let's see if we can pull. It's just unlimited, but I mean, who wouldn't want to see an original unlimited Picanio mod? or gay guardian or something like that that'd be pretty cool and these are not easy to open by the way so let's be careful all right there we go we got it out look at the background it's like a dragon all right cool unlimited metal raiders not gonna lie this feels a little warped in the pack that could be a good sign does that mean there's a foil in there probably not but we'll see metal raiders unlimited pack let's see what i can pull can we get something insane out of one original metal raiders pack this is original original it's not en or anything yato karu the big eye the ring of magnetism Mushroom Man number two, pretty sick. The Armored Lazard, you'd love to see him. Bistro Butcher. Share the pain. All right, all right. Little Swordsman of Veil, and will it be a foil? I think it's the next one. Oh, it's just a white magical hat. All right, I'm glad that you guys at least had luck besides me. White magical hat's a pretty cool card. Very fun to open that Metal Raider stuff. You guys know it's my favorite set. Probably never get tired of opening it, to be honest. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. And don't forget to check out the Twitch stream. Shout out to TCG, Trust Guard, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Stanley, Mimic Echo, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Anantai Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.